Okay, I just want to do a quick little uh, demo here. Uh, this is uh, this is the Hobby Harp. Uh, is what I'm calling it. It's basically a uh, it's basically a homebrew type of a light harp that I designed so that people can uh, easily build their own. And so I've published all the specifications and diagrams and plans and everything for this thing, the source code, and uh, it should be relatively easy to construct one of these things. Uh, but I'm using two different types of LEDs here, and I wanted to show you uh, why you should use one and not the other. Over here we have these uh, reddish or orangish ones are 5.5 thousand millicandela or 5.5 candle power um, LEDs, and those are the 5 millimeter variety, the smaller type. Over here we have a 10 millimeter uh, or jumbo size. Uh, 50,000 millicandela blue LED. Now, if I trigger notes uh, that have the red LEDs, you will see that I have to get my finger pretty close to get them to trigger. In some cases, it's it's kind of tough. But now compare that to the 50,000 millicandela blue. It's really quite e it's a lot easier to get this one to trigger, even with just my finger there. But these ones are a little tougher. So I would highly recommend using the more powerful LED. The problem is uh, that the, the 10 millimeter size takes up a lot of space on the breadboard. So notice I had to move it over here because it simply would not fit in where the where the five millimeters are fitting. So that is a consideration. I think I might uh, redesign the layout of this thing a little bit to accommodate this size and then publish pictures and, and diagrams using the larger size uh, to make it easier for you guys who are trying to um, who are trying to replicate this. Anyway, so yeah, the power of the LED is very important, so I would recommend getting the most powerful LED that you can to maximize your backscatter. Anyway, more soon.